What's up mga kuya? Welcome back to the channel. So, um, <laughs> so I just watched uh, Poco's launch for the Poco X3 Pro and F3. It's insane. But this video will be more for uh, discussing the X3 Pro. And to sum up the things that you need to know about the Poco X3 Pro, if performance, performance is what you're looking for in a smartphone in this case a budget more budget oriented smartphone i don't know these doesn't seem like specs for a mid-range phone just like with what they said in the presentation poco wants to raise the standard for mid-range smartphones and <coughs> snapdragon 860 which is basically like a bend or overclock snapdragon 855 plus from 2019 and yeah i know it's a generation or two old um, chipset but top of the line or flagship chipsets have been getting really fast uh, for the past couple of years that you won't really notice a difference for example uh, with the snapdragon 888 and 865 like if you compare them side by side then you most likely won't be able to notice a difference in performance like that's just how good it has gotten for the past couple of years like i said ufs 3.1 corning gorilla glass 6 uh, pretty much the same uh, display as with the previous poco x3 nfc with a 6.67 inch ips lcd display 120 hertz refresh rate 240 hertz sampling rate and the quad camera setup and take note mga kuya the poco x3 pro will be on sale this march 24 on shopee for 10,990. So that's the early bird price. And this will go back to an MSRP of 12,990, which is still insane for what this is offering. So basically, it's double the performance of the uh, Poco X3 NFC with the same price as it was launched last year. And as you know me personally, I'm not a huge fan of benchmarks, but that's freaking insane. The Snapdragon 765G was like the chipset for the top mid-range spec phones and honestly i'm at a loss for words for this one it's yeah that's the only thing i can say it's insane like if performance again is what you're looking for in a smartphone at the same time not spending like over twenty thousand pesos or four hundred dollars on a smartphone then this is the only one that i can recommend it's insane again the early bird price is 1090 and right now i am actually I'm thinking of selling my Redmi Note 9 and Poco M3 to buy this. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to sell both of these in the next few days, but uh, we'll see. So uh, my next purchase and my next like big purchase is actually a monitor. I'm not sure. This actually kind of changed my mind. Um, at the same time, I've been really, really wanting to buy a new monitor for like the past four years. But yeah, we'll see. And uh, I'm sure most of you are going to mention like how is it compared to the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro which hasn't been released yet uh, here in the Philippines. Like the TLD are so far for me with the uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro compared to the X3 Pro. If performance and gaming is like what you're doing mainly in your smartphone, um, performance is what you're looking for in a smartphone, then the Poco X3 Pro is a no-brainer. But when it comes to being an overall media consumption device, then it's the Redmi Note 10 Pro for me, as this still has an AMOLED display as compared to the X3 Pro, it still has an IPS LCD display. Plus, just an overall better camera system on the Redmi Note 10 Pro as compared to the X3 Pro, so yeah. And if you're currently an owner of the uh, X3 NFC, then the X3 Pro is a significant and worth it upgrade in my opinion. And so those are my thoughts so far on the Poco X3 Pro. It's insane again. Um, I'll update you guys if I'm going to be able to buy it hopefully. So I wasn't actually planning on making a video for the Poco launch but it was just insane. But yeah, that's gonna do it for now. I'll leave the links to everything you need to know about the Poco launch in the description of this video. And yeah, as always, stay safe, mga kuya. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Grabby.